Tottenham Hotspur Football Club have just drawn down £100 million of the £150 million cash injection from Enoch to put towards the transfer window. Reports are stating that Spurs and Barcelona are in talks about Clement Langley joining Spurs on loan next season, but the Spanish side want Tottenham to cover all of his wages. Welcome back to the channel. Hope you're all keeping well. This is another edition of Tottenham News, where I'll be going through all of the latest Spurs news, rumours and reports. If you're watching this on YouTube, please do hit that subscribe button and also like and share. If you're listening to this on an audio platform, do hit that follow button and leave a review if you can. And please do check out the channel sponsors, One Football, Zooch Converters, William Hill and Live Football on TV. A report has just been published by Shoot, and they are stationed at Barcelona. I hope for that Tottenham Hotspur can persuade defender Clement Langley to move to the Premier League so they can start a summer overhaul of their squad. And according to ESPN, the La Liga side have been in talks with Spurs for several weeks over a potential loan deal for the Frenchman who is not in the club's plans for next season. In the report from Shu, it states that the Spanish side would apparently prefer a loan deal for the player, but would be willing to let him leave on loan if it meant that his wages would be removed from their monthly bill, with Spurs willing to pay at least a significant majority of his salary. Lengley, 27, has made 159 appearances for Barcelona since joining the club from Sevilla in 2018, but started just seven league games last season, having fallen massively out of favour at the new Camp. The Daily Mail are also reporting on this story and they are stating that Tottenham could take Barcelona defender Clement Langley on loan next season. Spurs to cover the players' wages for the duration of the 2022-2023 campaign. Antonio Conte is looking to add defensive reinforcements in a busy window and Langley has fallen down the pecking order at Barcelona and is now looking for a way out. A report has just been published by Football London, and they are stating that Daniel Levy has approved £100 million to be taken from Enoch Injection for Tottenham Transfer Window Splash. The North London club have boosted their funds for the weeks ahead by withdrawing £100 million from their new cash injection. In the main report, it says that Tottenham Hotspur have now drawn down £100 million of the £150 million cash injection from owners Enoch to put towards the summer transfer window. Last month, the club agreed a capital increase of up to £150 million from majority shareholder Enoch through the issue of convertible A shares and accompanying warrants. The investment could be drawn into portions uh, until the end of the year. The bulk of the £150 million is set to be used on transfers to improve Antonio Conte's squad, plus any further funds raised by sales. Now Tottenham have drawn down £100 million of the cash injection to increase their capital as they look to make their next move in the transfer window. The club confirmed the decision by filing the motion with Companies House on Friday and the remaining £50 million can be drawn at a later stage. Now, my thoughts on these stories in this episode, I tell you what, this is absolutely huge news for Tottenham Hotspur Football Club and Antonio Conte and all of us Tottenham Hotspur fans. I think it is time to get excited. They have just withdrawn £100 million on Friday, uh, only yesterday, um, in order to have this money ready to spend in the next couple of weeks in this transfer window. Now, I know the last couple of days or even this last week has been frustrating for a lot of Spurs fans because I think that a lot of fans expected a lot of action. Uh, this last week or so and we didn't get it um, but of course the transfer window started you know quite fast for Tottenham Ivan Perisic, Fraser Forster, Ipa Suma we started the window so well and you've got to remember as well that the window has only been open officially in the UK for just over two weeks and we have three signings in so far but you know, we will have to judge the window at the end of the window. Um, I know this past week, you know, a lot of Spurs fans are saying, oh, it's all gone dead. It's all gone quiet. It's typical. We're not going to be uh, spending the money. We're not going to be back in Antonio Conte, blah, 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 blah. I totally disagree. Um, I really do. Um, I think that this is a really exciting period for all of us connected to the football club. Um, you know, certainly Antonio Conte, I think that the club are really going to back him in this window. And I think it is exciting times, as I've said, you know, 
every single one of us as uh, as fans, we need to um, judge the window. If, if that's the sort of thing you do, you want to judge the window, judge it at the end of the window, because I'm expecting a couple of very exciting weeks, very busy weeks as well. You know, it's only two weeks away until Antonio Conte and all of the players fly out to South Korea for our first pre-season game. Uh, so this is why I'm expecting a, a huge couple of weeks for the club, you know, especially now this £100 million has been withdrawn. And I've had a couple of very important guests on in the last couple of days. Of course, Fabrizio Romano was on yesterday, Italian journalist and transfer expert. And of course, Martin Lipton, the um, chief uh, sports reporter at the Sun newspaper. I asked them the very direct question, do you think Antonio Conte will get everything he wants in this transfer window? They both replied with yes. And that was me stating um, a right back. Um, a centre-back, a creative midfielder and a striker. And I tell you what, I actually believe that as well. I think that Antonio Conte is going to get everything he wants and demands in this transfer window because Antonio Conte um, will definitely want to challenge uh, on all fronts next season. He is not only building uh, a fantastic starting eleven; he is building a great squad. And remember, and I keep saying this on all of these uh, shows at the moment, um, that you know, from the start of next season, we can use five subs. So he will want a very strong sub bench as well. He will want to fight on all fronts. He will want to fight uh, in the Carabao Cup, uh, of course, in the FA Cup, uh, in the Premier League, and of course, in the Champions League. And he will want strength in depth. And I believe that he will get that. So I'm very excited. Hopefully, it will be a very exciting and uh, and happy transfer window. And, you know, you never know. If Antonio Conte gets everything he wants, this, this could probably go down as the best transfer window uh, in Tottenham's history. So Tottenham Hotspur go on to spend this £100 million in the next couple of weeks. Of course, there is £50 million still sat in the pot. Uh, and as, as that report said from Football London, uh, you know, that's not even to mention player sales. You know, think, uh, and I'm going to just name three players here. Tongion Dombele, Giovanni Lo Celso, Steven Bergvine. There is probably a whole host of other players that will be sold in this summer transfer window. And that money will all go towards Antonio Conte's pot and Fabio Prasci to go out there and spend big in this transfer window. Window, so Tottenham Hotspur can be a real force next season. Now, thanks for watching and thanks for listening. If you're watching this on YouTube, please do hit that subscribe button. Also, like and share. And if you're listening to this on an audio platform, please do hit that follow button and leave a review if you can. And also, please do check out the channel sponsors, One Football, Zooch Converters, William Hill and Live Football on TV. Enjoy the rest of your day and I'll see you on the next one. Until then, come on you Spurs.